along the path to transcendence, the path to the great journey. From the day I could stand, I was trained to fight. In a lake like this, I was watched by the prophets as I fought and learned and won. Not all were strong enough to serve our gods, but I was. It had always been this way for the Covenant, and it would always remain so, or so I once thought. Twenty years ago we fought here, and for a short time the humans resisted us. Their victories were few and costly. Some evidence of their struggle still remains, but not much. It didn't matter how hard they fought. It didn't matter at all. Our power and our belief were unstoppable. So I don't notice the bones beneath my feet anymore. They're just part of the dull, dead gray that surrounds me. My path is set. That smoke on the horizon is the only other thing on this world that didn't die 20 years ago. And so that is the only beacon I have. I know what I must cross before I reach the source of the smoke. My path will take me across the ruin of this world called Kolo, and straight to the great scar burnt into Kolo by our fury and faith. Creation covered this world in flames. It was the end of everything here. And it was put there by one ship. One hand alone. It was put there by me. This world is dead because of me. And now I need this world to tell me how to live. Twenty years ago. 
ago, when our war against the humans raged, I discovered this planet through a human ship I captured. As my reward for its discovery, the prophets tasked me with its ritual destruction. destroy those who stand in the way of the great journey. Faith. Destroy them with faith. And so I did. In a trance-like state, I guided the plasma bombardment that seared our holy glyph for the word faith into the surface of the planet below. everything around the lines of my glyph, and when it was complete, I knelt, waiting for the molten rock below to cool, and for the prophet to judge whether my actions had pleased our gods. They had. So my fleet drew lines of fire across the rest of this world as a lesson for those who dared stand before the might of the covenant. My dreams of long ago victories bring me nothing but pain today. So I will walk. Victory here, that we faced our own destruction. 
the destruction not of our lives, but of our reason for living. We were scouting for humans when the message came in. I could not comprehend what I was seeing. Our betrayal by the prophets, the slaughter of our leaders, the death of the covenant. The prophets had tricked us, lied to us about the nature of the great journey itself. And when my people refused to swallow this lie, the prophets tried to strip us of everything we had. My men looked to me like they never had before, and I knew what I had to do. He knew I was coming. Blasphemy! Filth! Who are you to strike a messenger of <laughs> I showed my crew what had come of our beliefs, and I hoped to focus them on what lay before us, starting with the only piece of that lie we had available to our rage. Betrayal! Our people have been betrayed by the prophets and their savage puppets. You have seen what they have done, how they have struck down our faith and our leaders. And you know what we must do in the face of such betrayal. Our war against these deceivers starts now. It was enough for them for a time, but vengeance can only fuel a people for so long. And we had done so much in the service of the prophet's lies. I had done so much, all of it lies. I had so much to answer for, from my service to their lies. So after all these years, I brought my ship back to this place of my greatest victory. Now, my greatest shame, to find a new purpose for my crew and my clan. And after weeks of searching, all I have found is that column of smoke calling to me from across the scar. That smoke is all I have now. This lack of solidarity made them much easier prey. 
Some of my fellow commanders continue that fight even now. But not enough. After generations spent obeying the covenant and the words of the prophets, we no longer know how to find out what our gods want us to do. We don't know what our gods want at all. We have no scientist, no clergy, no law, and no reason to be. We risk extinction for the lack of a purpose, and that is why I came to this planet where I last felt the touch of those gods for guidance. is once again gone. I cannot return to my people without it.